What is up YouTube? Today we're going to be showing the brand new hero that just dropped in Overwatch known as Venture. So for starters I'm going to be showing off their hero select animation. Very cool, very solid. And this is all of her abilities, passives, and her weapon and alt and general. To show them off real quick she's gonna be a dps role so she's just gonna be all about dealing damage and bursting enemy team down as much as possible so very cool very cool i like that so for starters we're gonna be showing off her primary fire which is going to be this drill shot right here so as you see we're gonna have trace as our subject does solid damage can three tap tracer which is great the thing about this is it has one cool feature about it and one bad one so the cool feature is that you can hit enemies from a pretty big miss like even if you miss you'll do a ton of hits on them and good damage which is great so you really don't have to aim this thing super good but the downside to it is since this seems to be a full on AOE there is no headshot that you can get from what I can tell. Again and again and again. So, something that's nice about this is it has pretty good range about this distance, but it will you won't be able to hit them after a certain distance away. Even even here you can still get some pretty good hits, but as you can see, this is gonna be a volume limit, so you got pretty good range, but you are gonna be limited at some point. So onto her next ability, she has a unique melee attack that most characters don't get. Instead of just a quick melee swipe, hers is slower than most, you'll see it right here. Very slow, but it has way more damage than most melees do. In this case, she does this much in one hit, and the catch is that this initial hit is a burst and then the rest, the spinning part, is just chip damage, so if you miss it, miss it and then get it you'll get a little bit of chip but it won't do anything crazy it's just some minor follow-up damage but the initial hit is what you really want to get because it does a ton of damage but even on these training box you can see that it does a good chunk out of it. you can reach it so you can follow up with like even your shot like this Boom. that's a ton of damage to just be getting off with that drift but to follow up she also has two abilities that really really suit her to do what you need to do with your melees or your shots. So the first ability I want to show off is Drill Dash. So to close the gap whenever you're having range problems you can always just lunge at your opponents with a Drill Dash just like that. Completely closes the gap as you can see from over here straight to the enemy and if you're right on them and do it you'll probably get a lot more damage out of it can be useful because after that you can pretty much just grab them with whatever you got you can ton of damage you can see you can just them with the drill and just completely do damage so you can angle this thing into the air so you can use it to take height or you can go forward or really any direction it's very versatile which is great and to follow up with the next ability, we're going to be showing off her dig. So she'll be able to go underground after a slight delay, and you are completely invulnerable under that ground. Now there are some catches to being invulnerable right here. While you will not take damage in general, if you go up on a ledge and you fall off the ledge right here, where her body was exposed, you are completely able to be hit while doing that. So you have to be careful when you're dropping. Because one slight slip up like that, and if somebody sees you and knows you're about to do it, they can get some free damage up on you or potentially kill you. So you do have to be careful. Another thing we want to show off is that when she goes on the ground, you can do a light pop up that'll do some decent damage, a little bit of chip damage. And you'll be able to just get back out and do like a follow up like a drill dash and then a hit of anything of the following. Another variant of this, you can go on the ground and charge it up for way more damage. As you can see that is a ton of damage space it just took right there. I would do it on the bots just so that they don't fall off the map. But... Way more damage. For that slight charge up, I would always personally, unless the enemy is extremely low HP, I would always try to go for that wind up hit. It's great. It's great. 
does a ton of damage. Why not? Also, as a quick aside, you can drill dash while underground, which is nice. Very yeah. good. Pop an ability? Like you dig or you drill? You'll get shield. So right there you get 290 gotcha. and by dash 325. If you just keep popping your ability, you'll keep getting that temporary shield in between, which is great. Very nice temporary shield, and that's what's gonna keep you alive with that. So you wanna just play as much as you can to get your abilities involved. Quit it. <laughs> Don't fall off the map, but overall you want to always get your abilities involved. As much as possible. The maximum health. 325 is a huge difference from 290. And 250 definitely. So when you're sitting on 250, you're missing out on potentially that 325 you could be using. Finally, we're going to be showing off our ultimate here which is a really cool ability. Basically, you pop on your ult and you go into a mode where this meter ticks down and you just do a shockwave that do a ton of damage. Even those big guys, like that is a ton of damage to just be bursting up. And unfortunately, you will not be able to just shoot this into the air or anything by looking up. It's going, to, it's going to travel along the ground no matter what. So even if I look up in the air, it's not flying up. So it's super ground level. So you are going to have to work around that and just make sure that your enemies are grounded when you want to go for that attack. And yeah, overall, Venture seems to do a ton of damage and have some nice abilities. Very high damage. High abilities, high health, everything's great. Our cooldowns, they have relatively good, there's nothing wrong with 6 and 8. Right under your nose. Both of our cooldowns are, our cooldowns are very, Our cooldowns are very low, so you can use that to your advantage. Eight seconds on both of them is going to be super manageable, and so you can just put that pressure on for the entire match. It's great. And our alt charge is relatively quickly. Like this is a pretty quick alt charge. So that that does so much damage. Sorry to bore you. So this will be a nice character to use, and we're going to be doing a little showcase match. This will be my first game with it. Overall, she has some very low cooldown abilities, as you can see here. She's got eight seconds on both. Gotcha. Really low cooldown. Come on, fire. That's gonna be really useful for when you just wanna just change your abilities. That you can just infinitely change. Your As for her cooldowns. She has extremely low cooldowns, about 8 seconds a piece, so you can just keep spamming these out very frequently. She does a ton of damage, she has great health, she has good momentum. Our kit feels amazing, and so we're back, and we're gonna be showing off Finchie here, as many of her skins as possible. So, as you can see, relatively new, so she's not gonna have a ton of things, but very nice cheap skin that you can get little color variants of her. Also be showing off her emote and her uh, highlight. That looks great, I might have to get that. Next is her emotes. Next, we're going to be showing off their skins. As you can see here. They just released, so there aren't a ton, but they all look pretty nice. Nice little few colors. You're going to see their intros here. That looks absolutely sick. Definitely trying to get that.
very adorable suit. You gotta love to see it. <laughs> and a pet rock. Aww. Next off, we'll be showing. These are just charms. A few of our quips. History doesn't repeat. It rocks. History doesn't repeat. Next off, we'll be showing off a few of her voice lines. I can dig that. History doesn't repeat. It rhymes. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Lucky find. Abran Gancha. I'm sort of making this up as I go. Nito. Hablando de Roma. Tastes like dirt. Ooh. What's that over there? X marks the spot. It stinks. And that is the majority of everything that she has. Of course, there's also a weapon variant. Be the golden G. Very cool looking golden G, to be honest. That looks fantastic, in my opinion. And this also looks pretty cool, the J drill. So, yeah, if you want to get to the point where you can get those. Surely put those on your weapon. So next up, we're going to be getting into a match just to showcase venture. And stay tuned for that. All right, we're getting into our match with venture. I love their kit so far. I'm actually liking a lot about the character. I like their design. I like their weapon. I love that item pose and the select screen. I'm thinking about maining them, honestly. It's, there's a lot of... Interesting traits to him, definitely. Like, I like Let's everything about history. him. I think they did great with him. Gear up, crew! Who knows what we'll find out there? Plan to win. And expect to lose. Get the show on the road! I think something that you really want to focus on doing with this character is just kind of coming around corners unexpectedly. That lunge is really good at closing the gap and you can get a ton of damage with it. Let's just sneak it around in general if you get these some good targets. Another thing that I'm noticing, people get so scared of the impact that you don't even always have to use it as an attack. You can just use it to make people zone away from you a little bit. Six feet under. Sometimes. You 
don't always gotta go at them with this character. That's something to know. Sometimes you can just threaten them with it. <laughs> a little that bit. really helps. That AOE hit. I thought some pretty decent damage on that guy. Yeah, see, that's a bit of a range limitation. It's not. She's got two really nice abilities to make up for if you're really out of position. And even if you do kind of mess that up too, you should be able to bring it back. Maybe go through that. And yeah, and yeah, overall, that is a full playthrough review and guide to venture. Just to recap, some of the key things you want to do is decide when there's a good time to go in and escape. You got two abilities. And yeah, overall, that and yeah, overall, that's a full review over. And yeah, overall that's an overview, guide, and gameplay, and a little bit of a showcase of our skins, emotes, and other things. That. And yeah, overall that's a. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> and 
and yeah overall that's a full guide some gameplay some showcasing and overview of venture some key things is just know when you should go in because you do have to get relatively close for most of your kit so you are going to need to choose a time where you think you can get a lot of picks rather it be on the back line or bursting down a tank while they're not looking or are already low hp Finch is a very amazing character. I like their design. I love everything about them. And if any of this helped out, a like, comment, and subscribe is greatly appreciated. Comment down what you think about Venture and if you're excited to play them today. And thank you for your support. Thanks for everything. Have a great day.